Hello everybody, True Mavis here, your 3 million G gamer. Welcome to another True Plays. We're going to have a look at this uh, pre-release title. Uh, it was before release, I'm looking at it anyway, so that's probably the wrong word. So I'm recovering from codes and stuff. My mind's all over the shop. Uh, this is Strategic Mind Spectre of Communism. Uh, comes out on the 9th of March, 2023. Um, there's no price on the store there, but I can confirm it is going to be priced at $29.99 in euros and dollars. Uh, so if that's converted, it'd probably be about sway, maybe anything from $24.99 in pounds um, upwards. Um, it is published by Clabeta and developed by Stanley Games. And it's a strategy game. Now let's um, jump in. Um, let me just find it on the old Xbox because the Xbox doesn't want me to find any uh, to start any games on from the storefront anymore for some reason. Uh, because it does stuff like that. Uh, Spectre. There we go. Right, let's have a look. We're just going to have a uh, quick preview of this and just see if we can get a feel for what it's like. Uh, see if it works well with, um, you know, the um, controls, because uh, obviously strategy games are generally more suited to mouse control. Okay. Uh, nobody has any of these achievements. Am I the only person? Oh, somebody has an achievement there. Invasion of the British Isles. Uh, obviously, this is fictional then, because the Soviet Union never invaded the British Isles. There's a lot of achievements for gaining enough promotion points. Um, anyway, we're not here to look at those. Uh, we're here to just look at the game. Uh, the menu's a bit tiny. Uh, English subtitles, key scroll, don't know what that means. Units outline, disable, hex it's on map. Zoom in and out. So oh, it's a hexagonal base game. Keep last 10 saves. That can be changed to disable. All right, let's just jump in. World War I morphed into civil war. The newborn communist state had to defeat its enemies or die. The communists survived this deadly struggle and the Soviet Union was able to raise its head among the nations. This is campaign selection. But that We've was far from the end of communist struggle. I am going to skip this. Repeated attempts to this, were, we're made, made to strangle the young time. country. So I'm just going to jump Many into instigated USSR. or outright supported uh, by the like capitalist power. In those years, telling. the... Oh, I, I thought it was going to... Comrade Rokossovsky. Bear with me one moment. I thought it was going to tell us the difficulty levels of each one. I didn't think when I clicked it, it would it would take me straight into the um, straight into the game. Let's uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again, shall we? World War One morphed into civil war. The newborn communist state had to defeat its enemies or die. Difficulty selection. The communists survived this deadly oh, struggle the and the Soviet okay, Union so was the able to raise its hand but the among the nations. Right, if you but there was many far from the end of communist on struggle. Historical events rather than... Repeated attempts were made to talking, strangle please? the young I'm, country. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Many insti... I'm going to mute the game, guys. Um, just because he's, he's, he's doing my nothing. <laughs> You see that enemy strength forty percent, eighty percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, and you get less prestige for victory. Insurmountable, and we have custom. Okay, I'm gonna put reading officer. We'll we'll turn commander, commander whatever on. Comrade Rokossovsky, I have always considered you a very talented officer. Thank you for your trust, Comrade Voroshilov. Until recently, I was planning to promote you to Comcore rank. Uh, why did you change your mind, Comrade Voroshilov? Our ever-vigilant state security has uncovered some horrific facts. 
about you, comrade. You have been spying for both Japan and Poland. I have <clears throat> signed confessions from traitors to the state that prove it. Confess your crimes. What is this nonsense? I serve the Soviet Union faithfully and honorably. You can lie to your cellmates, Rakasowski. You are under arrest. The punishment for high treason is death. Rakasowski, this is your last chance. Tell us who else was in on this conspiracy of yours. I am innocent. I am not going to falsely accuse my comrades. You have only to sign this confession to avoid the worst consequences. Well, if you are not with us, then you are against us. Let it be on your head. <clears throat> Ready? Aim! Fire! He's dead. Comrade Zhukov, I have always considered you a very talented officer. Thank you, Comrade Varshilov. These are troublesome times. The motherland needs more such exemplary officers. Unfortunately, Comrade Varashilov, as we have seen, not all exemplary officers are truly loyal to the motherland. Comrade Zhukov, the Japanese Imperial Army has suddenly invaded our ally, the Mongolian People's Republic. They started out with some border clashes, but now they are trying to grab territory. It is our sacred duty to protect our socialist Mongol brothers. We must teach these Japanese militaries a harsh lesson. Comrade Zhukov, I order you to travel to Mongolia at once. Inspect our troops there. Take over operational command if necessary. It is an honor, Comrade Varshilov. Good luck, Comrade. I will be waiting for some good news for a change. I also will be waiting for reports of your diligent and loyal service to the motherland, Comrade Zhukov. He's just waiting to shoot somebody else. Ready? Aim! Fire! Oh, he didn't die. You will sign the confession, Rakasowski. Or next time, we shoot you for real. Save your breath, comrade. I won't betray my fellow officers. We shall see, comrade. Take him back to his cell. Oh, so he didn't, they didn't shoot him then. Comrade Zhukov. Several days ago, the Japanese have invaded the Mongolian People's Republic. The Soviet Union has promised to defend her from any foreign aggression. Now the Red Army has been ordered to repel that treacherous attack. With a special order, Comrade Stalin has appointed you the commander of the 57th Special Rifle Corps. Your men are deployed in Mongolia. Comrade People's Commissar for Defense, please brief me on the operational situation. The Japanese are attacking from the puppet state Manchukuo. They have violated the Mongolian border and occupied the eastern bank of the Hulkin Gol River, with the exception of a single bridgehead we have on the eastern riverbank. Fighting is severe, but our boys are holding. Thanks to that, we have a chance to organize a counteroffensive and throw the samurai out of Mongolia. Do not forget, our bridgehead is under very serious pressure. Intelligence collected by my agents indicates that the Japanese have concentrated significant forces close to the supply depot of the 23rd Division. It looks like the Japanese are preparing for a decisive assault on our positions. Thank you for the information, Comrade People's Commissar of State Security. In this case, I oh, must nice call for reinforcements. At this moment, I am in desperate State need security. of tank units. The first reinforcements will arrive tomorrow. But for now, you will have to kill the enemy with the forces you have. Our bridgehead must remain in our hands at all costs. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. As soon as the opportunity arises, counterattack and eliminate the samurai threatening our bridgehead. 
Fight bravely and skillfully. Remember, you are fighting for our Soviet workers and for our great leader, Comrade Stalin. Alright, I've I've just literally right, this guy's right. I've just literally got off a game. Which was incredibly more simple than this game's gonna be. And criticized it for not having a tutorial. What do you think I'm gonna say now? <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do with this? Seriously, what in the chuffing hell am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea what the control inputs are. I have no idea how to move troops. I have no idea how to build troops. I have no idea how to attack. I have no idea about anything on this. This is just stupid. You have literally just dumped me into the game. Start and the menu button do nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna start by clicking something. Let's have a look. These are these are these are Japanese. Yep, they're Japanese. We're here. We have a question mark there. I have no clue. Okay, these look like they're infantry. Repel Japanese attack units killed zero of three. Okay, I am going to just click you and see what happens with the A button. Your forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. Are you giving me a These tutorial? units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. Right, we're gonna have a fight. No, Ammunition and fuel icons next to unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit has attacked this turn. <clears throat> if the unit is low on ammunition or fuel, the corresponding icon is yellow. It becomes red once the unit has run out of it completely. Right, how does one attack then? I want to. I want my infantry here to attack that infantry there. Right, it's not the A button. Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, and well entrenched positions. A well entrenched infantry is a tough target for the enemy assault. So I'm supposed to bombard them first, am I? Aim well, hit hard. Alright, I want to aim at these guys, yeah? I aim at these guys, please? I don't know what the buttons Artillery are, you is see. Artillery the base of not... the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. X. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. However, its main strength is its long firing range, which allows you to destroy the enemy troops from afar. Remember, though, Artillery is vulnerable to aircraft attacks and in close combat, so it needs to be protected. Why, why can't I? Oh, what's, what's happening right now? Artillery standing by. Yeah, I'd like to know how to fire it. Why can't you just put on the screen A to move, X to fire or something? Why? Damage is indicated with the numbers above the unit being attacked. Why is For fire? ground and aircraft units, there are two types of damage, lethal and non-lethal. Both lethal and non-lethal damage decrease the unit's strength. However, non-lethal damage at the same time increases the number of units' damage, which can later be restored. Naval units always receive only lethal damage. However, they have multiple ship parts with their corresponding HP. Thus, damage against them is split. Ship parts except the hull are repaired over time by ship maintenance. Hull HP cannot be restored in any way during the operation. I'm getting an headache. Fire at will. Did 
This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport and can only disembark from naval transport at a seaport. Opening fire! Anti-tank artillery is effective against tanks and other hard targets. Your best tactic when using anti-tank artillery is to position it next to your other forces to provide them with fire support versus attacks from enemy tanks. We'll blast them to pieces. Okay, I think I won everything. What do these do? Oh, they were my troops so that were on the ground, okay. What's this then? Supply point. Supply hub airfield. Supply hub, supply point. I've no clue. Guys, I, I, I'm, I'm struggling here. What, what's this? Prestige is also for acquisition of units equipment. It's also used for upgrade. Click that then. Oh, can I then buy another unit here then? Can I, can I buy... Can I buy a tank? Oh, can I buy... Can I buy one of these? troops that I've got. I don't, I don't follow. I, I'm honestly struggling with this. Seriously, guys. Really, really we'll struggling. We'll make them pay. You'll make them pay. Yeah, lovely. right through them yes well well i i want to know how i can make more troops so isn't that a thing in these kind of games so i can click that and that brings up all my supply depots i think but connected with yeah so they're connect yeah that shows obviously showing the connections yeah how, how do i Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just going to click enter and see what happens. What's this? Command points are used by headquarters to carry out tactical strategy. Uh, enter. Uh, whatever. Oh, they've got a tank. Awesome. Your reinforcements, Comrade Zhukov, as requested. Oh, I that. kept my word. Now it's up to you to see this operation through. I didn't request them. Thank you, Comrade People's Commissar for Defense. This gives me enough to kick those samurai in the teeth like they deserve. Their units probably haven't had time to dig in. On these open plains, our tanks will make short work of them. Just point the gun towards the enemy. Adjusting sights! You have selected an entrenched unit. When a ground unit finishes its turn while still being able to move, it gains one level of entrenchment. The unit can have up to six levels of entrenchment. Each level of entrenchment increases all defenses by one. The unit loses all levels of entrenchment when it moves. Naval and aircraft units cannot gain entrenchment. Each attack against an entrenched unit reduces the entrenchment level by one.
Tank crew awaiting orders. Is that where the fighting is? Okay, I've established basic movement and attack commands. Other than that, I'm struggling. Who needs better tanks when you're better at killing tanks? Ready to kill some Imperialists. Together, attack! We've repelled the Japanese attack on our beachhead. We hammered those capitalist samurai. Comrades, now is not the time to celebrate. My agents say the Japanese have now crossed the Hulk and Gold near the Bain Saigon Mountain. They are digging in there. The samurai can strike at your rear at any moment. Zhukov, just crush them with our mighty tanks and be done with it. We can't just throw our tanks at the Japs. The samurai will burn them. First, we need to soften up their infantry with attacks from the air. Then we should send in the tanks, but only with the support of our own infantry. You are far too timid for a cavalry commander. You underestimate the bravery of the workers and peasants' Red Army. Have you forgotten how we smashed the White Guards in the Civil War with nothing but cold steel and rifles? But do as you wish. I hope the units you have will be enough to storm Bain Saigon. Where's this now? Where's... Oh, this is... This is, the, this is here. Where did this come from? I've got planes. Tactical bombers are flying artillery and a great tool for wreaking havoc on any enemy troops. Although you have to be careful of the anti-aircraft units overwatch and fire support. It is better to scout the enemy positions before sending in bombers. Do not leave your tactical bombers without protection. Remember, they are a prime target for enemy fighter planes. Um... Capture the main twisting mountain at this. So this is my current objective. Okay, they don't seem to have They don't seem to have any other defenses around, not that I can see anyway. Can we send one of these Reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive, ah, since crap. it provides you with full intelligence information regarding the presence of enemy forces, thus making your attack more effective. A reconnaissance unit can move several times per turn, as long as it has move points left. Once the reconnaissance unit notices the enemy, it automatically stops and they can move again. If an enemy surrenders to your reconnaissance unit, it gains full information about all the enemy units nearby. Ah, oh, there we go, because we can see them. Their disguise is shameful. Pick your targets and fire. Beware the fire support of the enemy artillery if you attack enemy troops with an artillery unit nearby. Tank crew awaiting orders. I think this is super confusing. I just plow over people. Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain. However, they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well-entrenched infantry units. Why well, I, I wanted to run them over. It's not a thing, no. Team ready. This is a long-range bomber. It has higher fuel capacity and more defense, but lower attack parameters due to the higher altitude of bombing runs. Such bombers are better escorted with long-range fighters or fighters fitted with extra fuel tanks during their long-range missions. Is that all you can move? Oh, that's just... 
here to hunt some tub brass. Moving out. <sighs> I honestly think there's a good game here. I just think the tutorial really sucks. Tank crew on standby. Burning diesel. Opening fire. This one is for the workers back home. I can't get out of my head that the Russians sound American. Adjusting sights! Your unit has just triggered an overrun skill. Every time a unit with an overrun skill defeats an enemy unit, it gains the ability to move and attack again. Packed with proletarian fury. Fighter planes are vital for gaining air superiority. Keep your fighters close to allied aircraft you want to protect, and they will provide fire support. Fighters are able to attack ground targets, although with low efficiency. They can use the Overwatch breakthrough skill to counter enemy anti-aircraft fire and clear the way for tactical bombers. Bomb should loaded to the brim. Inert. I'm getting cooked inside this thing. Where is this? What is your command? I don't know where you are. Oh, you're here. I can Burning shoot. diesel. Shoot that. Yes, Beware of the ambushes. Getting into an ambush delays the offensive and burdens your units with unnecessary losses. To avoid being ambushed, you should first use reconnaissance to scout the route you are going to follow and locate enemy troops, so they cannot take you by surprise. Ready and able. There was nothing there. You'll rest when you're dead. What is your command? Move. Want, want to move. Here to hunt some tub brass. Right, question, right? Why when I pick a troop, does it not automatically um Does it not automatically zoom the camera into them? Surely that's a basic Packed with proletarian too. fury. Orders received. Moving. Oh, 
How do I turn again? Aircraft unit has sustained heavy losses. You need to land it at an airfield within a supply zone for repairs. Where did they come from? It seems like the Japanese fighter pilots are getting an upper hand against our aircraft. How did they learn to fly like that? That won't last. We won't let samurai fly circles around Soviet pilots. I am sending you a squadron of our finest aces and also a crack unit of anti-aircraft artillery. That's all you should need to get air superiority. Stalin's Falcons will teach the Japanese a lesson in aerobatics. You can hide, but you can't run from a shell. Begin the bombardment. Soviet bombers, ready for duty. I can't bomb that, why not? Gunners, don't sleep. Watch out, it's anti-aircraft overwatch fire. It is costly to attack the enemy positions protected by anti-aircraft units. Try making a preliminary attack on the enemy anti-aircraft units to disable their overwatch ability before sending any aircraft squadrons to engage them. Hey, Tommy. I don't understand why none of these can Count attack. Team ready. Moving to coordinates. Then why can't I attack that? It's hunting season. Get it. Why can't I attack though? I, apparently, I've already attacked. Where to now, it's comrade right. commander? Taking aim. Packed with proletarian. An anti-aircraft unit is a powerful and versatile weapon. Its main purpose is to protect your forces from enemy aircraft by overwatch, fire support, and direct attack of the enemy. However, it can also effectively combat ground units. Large caliber anti-aircraft artillery is a good weapon for destroying enemy tanks. Why is it not got a shot? Aim well, hit hard. We fight together, we die together. When in doubt, improvise. They're living our line of sight. I just destroyed that, haven't I? What? I don't <laughs> They'll learn to fear us. The old men are going into battle. This target has the fire support of enemy fighter planes. It is possible to attack any enemy plane next to an enemy fighter. Wait, it's then I got. It's then I got. Um... Hmm. Sky is clear. Good day for a fight. Heard you, comrade commander. Bomb shoot loaded to the brim. I'm getting cooked inside this thing. Front of a key, awaiting orders. Uh. 
they'll learn to fear us. I don't understand. <laughs> Anti-tank gun awaiting orders. On the double. Your unit has been withdrawn from a supply zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. The supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. Just point the gun towards the enemy. No keeping us on the home front. Can I not attack a plane? That's oh, a bomber. Yeah. Bomb should load it to the brim. Oh, I, I, I am so confused, guys. The village of Jinjin Sume lies at the intersection of several strategic routes. It is a point that the Japanese could use as a springboard for attack. It must be cleared of enemy units. How many more objectives are you going to give me? No keeping us on the home front. I don't understand bombers. I don't. I don't get bombers. What? 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 I don't get. It. Why can't I bomb this? I can bomb this. Bombs away. I did nothing. That's good. Motherland's finest. Death from above. They are fleeing. Just keep enemy fighters off us. Death from above. I honestly think there's a good strategy game here, but I'm... I'm... Motherland's armor! The tutorial is just not doing it for me. I am not understanding other than basic movement and attack. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know why I can't attack sometimes. Is that defeated? Planes may fly differently, but they fall the same way. They are trying to escape our effective range. Recon team ready. I've just defeated that, haven't I? We'll keep an eye on the assassin. Where are we going? I didn't say move. You have captured an enemy supply point intact. It can now be used to supply your troops. Cool. So, how do I capture this then? I mean, this is the objective, but how I can't enter that square. It's... There is a manual. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess if you prepare to read through all that, I mean, I obviously haven't got time to do this, this video, but um, I guess that would be a comprehensive overview of how to do everything. Um,
Can you hear the thunder? Why can't I capture this? I don't understand. I do not understand. I don't understand game. I'm so sorry. I, I don't understand. But I don't understand. It's um, not making much of a sense to me. Workers of the world, armed and ready. Tank crew on standby. What happened there? <laughs> Packed with proletarian fury. I know I'm What's playing this incredibly badly, but I am trying to understand how the game plays, and I am for the motherland. Feeling incredibly miserable. Burn in hell, scum. Burn in hell, scum. Oh. Captured for the motherland. The Japanese are getting reinforcements on the Mongolian border. Prepare for the enemy counterattack. There's another object. So I've got, I've, I've got to capture with infantry. This time then. will be no different. I only capture with infantry. Tank that crew awaiting makes orders. Sense, I guess. No mercy for the imperialists. Just tell us the coordinates. Um, what is this? What is your order? It's hunting season. Yep, that one's dead. These bad guys? Oh my word, where'd they come from? I've got to capture this village, haven't I? Okay, we've been doing this for 40 minutes now. <sighs> and this is the first mission. And it looks as if I've got a long, long way to go on this mission. We have only completed one of five objectives. Uh, these are the other four objectives that we've got to complete. Or primary objectives are there, secondary objectives are there. Um, this is obviously going to be a long, long game. Um, it controls fine. Navigating the board or the map is easy to do. The only thing I don't like is that well, when I click a unit, why don't we? Here why to don't, keep the sky clear. What do we do if we double click? Guns of the Soviet Union. Would that not have been told to me? Would that not have been told to me? That would have been helpful, wouldn't sky it? Sky is clear. Good day for a fight. That would have been helpful. You can it? hide, but you can't run from a shell. Well, you can. You just run. <laughs> uh, so yeah, double double clicking on it. Takes Standing you to the by unit. for orders. Why Ready not? to roll all over them. Why not single click though? Because if you just single click like that, oh, look, that, that tells sure. you no information whatsoever other than this. So you don't know what any of these do. Number of damage troops being forced. See, none, none of this is explained. I always, I always find that I always personally believe the best tutorials are ones that you do stuff. This seems to give you a tutorial after you've done something, basically done it wrong. Like, oh, you've moved that troop, but if you hadn't moved them, you wouldn't have got shot because that troop was in Overwatch. And if you hadn't moved them, you wouldn't lose. You wouldn't have lost your entrenched status. Do you know what I mean? Or to me, as you as you basically should say, oh, bases are only capturable by infantry units. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It should tell you. I I, I think that whilst um, I, I can't even remember how you get to it now. How the how the heck do you get to that? Was it in here? They'll regret coming to our land. No, it wasn't in here. Okay, so we can we've got info about troops we can level things up we've got equipment we've got heroes we've got acquire units uh can i buy let's, let's buy some script. 
X is acquired. We go, I've acquired loads of constructs. I don't know where they appear. It just doesn't tell me. Um, where was the thing I was I was looking for? Menu, menu is it? Yeah, menu. Look. Manual. I'm guessing this is very comprehensive. But... If I was to read this from start to finish, by the time I start playing, I would have forgotten half of it. And I don't want to be... I mean to think like, oh, I want to, uh, I want to maybe refuel my or resupply one of my things, my one of my one of my troop units. I mean, I don't want to be stopping for half an hour, and searching through. Um. Oh my God, there's more. There's more. Oh, there's loads of this. Holy cow. There's an encyclopedia of information here, guys. But yeah, I don't want it to be clicking on a thing and then having to read it and then applying it like that. I want to be able to see, like, maybe a quick... Can okay, I click on this? Click on the true... Motherland's armor! Right, I want to be able to click on his fuel icon. Right, and then click on a button that says resupply, and it re and, or, or, any, or it goes into a tutorial to tell me how to resupply my unit, unit and shows me how to do it. it. Shows me how to do it. I've not only accomplished what I wanted to do, I've also been shown how to actually do it and what menus to actually go through. Where if I'm having to read it, I'm having to go through like this, and then click this. And then, you know, supply points and, oh, I've got fuel. I mean, I probably need a supply point. And then is the supply point got to have a supply hub? And then does the supply hub have to have a supply network? Does the supply network have to have a supply line or a zone? I'm just kind of just, you know, spitballing this. Just, just giving you an idea, you know, where it just leads you down a rabbit hole of reading how to do stuff where if I click on something and it, you know, it, it shows me, or even if it shows a video of showing you how to do it, I just think just having to read it all is just uh, an archaic way of um, explaining. And it wouldn't be so bad if it was like, a, if you had like a uh, an instruction manual like you would have done in, in you know, back in the day. Um, but now that it's all in the game, you only can access it whilst that at your screen in the game, so it's not as if you can like study up on it uh, out of the game. And you see, and there's there's the thing, you shouldn't need to study. The thing you shouldn't need to study up uh, after after the fact. Now, I appreciate strategy games are one of the most complicated games that you can get out there. I do fully appreciate that, but then there also has to be a level of accessibility. Um, this is um, not newcomer friendly. I must admit, I am not the hugest strategy fan. I mean, I have played strategy games in the past, and I can I usually end up enjoying them. Um, this one I find very inaccessible. Uh, I find it doesn't explain itself very well at all in how to do stuff. Um, and I just think the reams and reams of text that it's uh, went up with to how to do things is, is, is a bit detrimental and, and just offers more confusion. Um, so I would I would suggest I, I feel there is an excellent strategy game under all of this. I mean we've been playing it for like 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes on mission one, and we've achieved one out of five objectives. Um I do feel there probably is an excellent strategy game here. Uh I mean if we just go into the uh store screen just for a quick look at the information that it does supply us with. Um, let's have a look. Modern 3D graphics wouldn't actually agree with that. I think the graphics are a bit muddy and a bit hard to tell some of the stuff out on there. I'm more interested to see how many campaigns there is. No in-game purchases. Okay. Over 60 minutes of cinematic. Full voiceovers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't tell me how many campaigns there is. 
that is quite important information to put on your marketing information, I would say. There seemingly is multiple campaigns because they did. I had to choose a campaign. If it was just one, you'd just go straight into it, wouldn't you? I, I don't know. I mean, that's a very poor features right up that. You don't tell me a lot of your features at all. Um, but I, I feel there is a good strategy game. So I'm going to say this one is for, you know, strategy experts only. Those who are familiar, highly familiar with the genre will be able to transfer skills from other games into this game. Or at least be fam familiar and have some kind of inkling how things work. If you're coming in this cold and thinking, oh, I'm going to try strategy and get in, trying to get into a strategy game, this probably isn't your first entry that you should go for into, strat into a strategy game. Um, I think it would be, it's going to require many, 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 many hours of trial and error, figuring stuff out, clicking things like, oh, what's this do? Oh, that does that. You know, figuring it out, trial and error, losing a lot of times, getting frustrated. Like, I can't understand why I can't like the planes were all there or something and my fighter planes couldn't attack these planes why why couldn't they so to me if the game's not letting me do something i want like a prompt to appear on the screen saying i can't you, so you can't do that because and then i know it doesn't it doesn't tell me why i can't do it if i know why i can't do it then i'll obviously work around it and i don't get all oh, right fair enough that's what the rule is but I could be scratching my head an hour, two hours, three hours, ten hours later, still not knowing why I can't attack certain stuff with certain units at certain times. And for me, if this plane had Aerial bombs are girls' best friends. This plane had um, ammo, and I should, and it's over this base. This plane's over this base. I should be able to attack it. But I think what's happening is because it's over the base. I think it's uh, having an issue with it. But anyway. As I said, I think this is a, uh, probably a very deep and uh, good strategy game, um, but it's definitely not entry level or user friendly. So it's a lot of familiarity with the genre and games of this type would be needed for you to take a step into this one immediately. Uh, newcomers, I'd say, probably start off with something a bit more, uh, a bit more user friendly and something that's a bit more hands-on tutorial. Um, heavy so you learn know how to play the game before you even attempt to go um, into something more complicated like this. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.